We're going to begin, though, in Pennsylvania with a Senate race that's got huge implications for the country and which party has power in Washington. Now, this was the first and only debate between Democrat John Fetterman and Republican Mehmet Oz. It included fiery exchanges on abortion rights, the economy, and a range of other issues. But with early voting already underway, John Fetterman's health was also a topic. Robert Costa is following this campaign. Bob, good morning to you. He started right off the bat saying, let's address the elephant in the room. Good to see you. He did, Gail. Good morning. Good to be with you. Last night's debate, it was a crucial crossroads in the battle for the Senate. It was also reflective of the state of politics in Pennsylvania and the nation. Tense exchanges on the issues and on character. And let's also talk about the elephant in the room. I had a stroke. He's never let me forget that. Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman started off the hour-long debate assuring voters he's still capable of doing the job of senator five months after having a stroke. I might miss some words during this debate, mush two words together, but it knocked me down, but I'm going to keep coming back up. While his GOP opponent, Dr. Mehmet Oz, went straight to attacking his opponent as soft on crime. John Fetterman, during this crime wave, has been trying to get as many murderers convicted and sentenced to life in prison out of jail as possible. He has no experience. He has never made any attempt to try to address crime during his entire career, except showing up for photo ops here in Philadelphia. The two clashed on abortion. I don't want the federal government involved with that at all. I want women, doctors, local uh, political leaders, letting the democracy that's always allowed our nation to thrive to put the best ideas forward so states can decide for themselves. If you believe that the choice for abortion belongs between you and your doctor, that's what I fight for. Roe v. Wade, for me, is should be the law. He celebrated when Roe v. Wade went down. The abortion decision should be left up to states, and specifically when John you roll once. with Doug Mastriano. John, when I'm you done, you can, John, moment, you'll have your moment, turn, John. And things got heated when they were asked about families struggling with the high cost of college tuition. Basically, what John Fetterman and Joe Biden are, 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 are arguing for is for plumbers who didn't go to college and couldn't, for a bunch of reasons, afford it, to pay the bills of lawyers who went to graduate school and haven't paid their debt back. Dr. Oz, you know, loves free free money when it's a, a half a million dollar tax break on one of his, you know, homes down in a ranch in Florida. And whether it was a $50 tax break, you know, about his farm in Montgomery County. So. Fetterman's use of a closed captioning device during the debate, where he read questions in real time on a screen above the moderators, sparked debate on social media. Media, with some observers seeing a strong performance amid recovery, while others cast him as unsteady. I, I, I do support fracking, and I don't, I don't, I support fracking, and I stand, and I do support fracking. Betterman would not say if he would release more of his medical records, but argued that he has been transparent. I believe if my doctor believes that I'm fit to serve, and, and that's what I believe is appropriate. Fetterman's advisors tell CBS News that in the coming days they will make abortion rights a focal point. And they claim that in the hours after the debate, Fetterman raised more than $1 million. Meanwhile, Mem and Oz will campaign today with Nikki Haley, the former Trump administration diplomat. Gail? Bob, you know, the race for governor, big story in the news in Pennsylvania. Where do things stand with that one? Our CBS News Battleground Tracker poll shows the Democratic nominee, Attorney General Josh Shapiro, ahead of State Senator Doug Mastriano, a Trump ally. I sat down with Shapiro here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and he says he's ahead because he's reaching out to Republicans in the suburbs of Philadelphia and Pittsburgh who don't want to side with a Trump ally and an election denier. All right, Bob, we thank you. We'll see you later on.